Hey everyone, welcome back to the Culture Rob and the Coolio's channel. I hope everyone's doing well. So you look at this and you say, Alright, you got some Toys R Us exclusives. You got Snow White, Disney Snow White with the little bird in hand. And you got Miguel from that new movie, Coco. And you say, man, that is awesome. But then it turns into a horror story. Why, do you ask? Because if you focus on that, those, my friends, are bubble mailers. And you ask yourself, Culture Rob, what does bubble mailers have to do with anything? Well, I'll show you what it has to do. So these are the pops I received. But when you pay closer attention to them, you see that they all came damaged. Look at this. This one looks like it was stepped on. Creases everywhere. Same thing here. Creased, ripped on the top, smushed. This one is probably the best out of the three. Still has a good amount of damage. Creased on the top. Crease there. And I'll tell you why. Because I ordered these online through ToysRUs.com. And they shipped them in this, which is a bubble mailer. How do you ship pops in a bubble mailer? Like, I, I, what is the logic behind what you did there, Toys R Us? You can't ship it in a bubble mailer. That doesn't make sense. It's a box. Man. Ugh. So, I ordered Snow White. I did a ship to store. I got it. It was all messed up, so I decided I'm going to return that one. I'm going to order another one. So I did the ship to home, and then I realized when, I, when it arrived that they're shipping them in bubble mailers. Henceforth, this is why they're coming like this. This is why they're getting there all ripped, destroyed. Come on, guys. I mean, listen. I'm all about ordering online. I order online probably more than I buy at the store. Because, frankly, I never find anything good at stores. But you have to at least put it in a box. Okay? And I'll take my chances with it in a box if you're not going to put packing material... But you can't. You cannot ship it in a bubble mailer, guys. Come on, guys. Toys R Us. Are you kidding me right now? Bubble mailer. Three separate pops, three separate orders, and three separate bubble mailers. Man. But, so I called. I complained. They gave me a $10 coupon to use at any Toys R Us store or online. You know, and they were nice and all that. But that's not really the point. The point is, these are collectibles. And I keep them in the box. How can I collect it if my box is messed up? It just doesn't make sense to me. But, that being said, I'm done with the rant. These are really cool pops. I'm going to have to return them, though, and hopefully find them somewhere, somehow, at some store, some Toys R Us that has these. But, all right, rant over. Toys R Us, get it together. Listen, I know you guys are having some trouble. I'm sorry about that. But you guys can't ship collectible items in bubble mailers. It, I mean, even if I was an out-of-box collector... 
I don't want to receive the package like if someone kicked it and stepped on it. This one's even stained. Oh, man. All right. I'm done talking. Look at this. Absolutely awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Get it together, Toys R Us. Bubble Mailer. Bubble Mailer. Pop. No window. All right, peace out.